group. All right. Um, basically, you just see me go over uh, a couple rounds doing the boxing box. Um, I'm going to sit down and break it down a little bit more easier so you guys can understand what this is supposed to do, the object of having this in your local gym or even in your home. Um, the fundamental fundamentals of boxing, you have a traditional bag over here where you can pretty much hit it anywhere. You know, but when you apply that to a sparring situation, you know, it's obviously not reality. So to score and land punches properly, you have to be in the proper position. And this is what this teaches you. All right? For beginning boxers, you want to teach them how to throw a proper jab, how to, you know, make sure they're in position, keep their legs, keep their balance, you know, those things. Well, when you have one of these, you put, put yourself in perfect position. You don't throw jabs here. You throw them here to your shoulder level. This teaches all of them. You know what I mean? One, two. What it makes you do is bring it back to your face and look for the next, uh, the next punch. You know, as you start to get more advanced with boxing, you know, you have to start learning how to pivot. You know, pivot over, you know, pivot over, you know, pivot to the body, you know, to the head. You have to learn how to do these things. You punch your right hand. This, what this does is this teaches you how to pick your shot. And especially for an amateur boxer, most amateur boxers out here, this is going to teach you how to score. All right, the difference between amateur boxing and pro boxing is the scoring is a whole lot different. All right, you're going longer rounds in amateur box or in pro boxing, and you're, you're going to be out there to wear someone down. In amateur boxing, you have to pick your spots. Jab, straight to the body. Jab, right knee. Look, like you have to pick your spots where you can score. This does for you is teach you that. What it also do is correct you as far as your defense as well. When you're throwing your punch, if you're not protecting yourself and you're throwing your right hand, Keep it down, you get smacked in the face. Alright? So it helps you work on your inside game as well as staying outside. Move around. Boom, boom. Alright, stay on your tippy toes. Move around. Boom, boom. Helps you do all that. Boom, boom. Alright? Overall, I would say this is the best sparring partner next to a person. Even better sometimes because guess what? This isn't going to get tired. This is always going to fight you back. You as many rounds as you can go with this boxing box. So it makes it beneficial for someone who. You know, may not have the money to pay for a coach to be training them all day. You may not have money to pay for sparring and get extra work. This will continue to build on your level, on your competition level. So it's, it's definitely a good tool to have in building your, your, uh, your repertoire of boxing. All right. Does it help you? It, what I find it helps you and makes you move to get your punches in sometimes. Yeah, you know definitely. what I'm saying? Well, you, okay. A lot of times, you know, you're going to be in a situation where you're not going to be able to necessarily get the punch off that you want, or you'll be in an awkward situation. You know, it's not going to help you. Slip to the side, throw that semi uppercut. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, you're going to have to learn to punch the ball. You might be in where, you know, you have to come off here. Boom, boom, step over. Boom, 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 boom. It definitely helps you make a lot of better decisions and give you more options as far as with the individual and getting off shots, throwing a lot more combos, looking, being patient, you know, throwing on the limb. You know, it helps you stay mentally focused when you're working with the boxing box. Will it help your hand and eye coordination? I mean, of course. I mean, you know, you gotta you gotta be mentally focused with the sport. And if you if you're not gonna get mentally focused by a box coming in, I don't know what you you know what else it's gonna take. <laughs> so what, does it sharpen your punches? Of course, definitely. If you throw a lazy punch, you know. You're gonna be hitting something. Um, no, you have to stay mentally focused. Stay here, wait. Snap. You know what I'm saying? It teaches you to be mentally tough and physically tough. You know what I mean? All right. If you're not moving your work, you're not moving this bag. If you're not moving this bag, you're not moving your legs. You have to force the work. Step forward. Boom. 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 You have to be patient, but you also have to be aggressive. You have to be doing the whole combination for it takes to be a boxer. So it helps you fight from different angles, makes you fight from different angles. Definitely, definitely, definitely fight for all angles. I mean, this is 360 degrees. If you're working with a traditional bag, you can just beat on it all day from the stationary position, you know, and get make a sweat. All right. This is going to make you mentally tough and physically tough. When you're done with your workout, do you feel it mentally? Oh, of course. All you want to do is just sit down look at me now. I mean, I'm a <laughs> you know, I just want right. to sit down and call it a day. Yeah? <laughs> definitely. All right. Thank you. Problem.